All right, chip of the day. This is a ROM chip, uh, RUM001LO2, a small signal MOSFET, and it might be small signal, but it's also really, really, really small. <laughs> um, so uh, it is an N-channel FET, but it's only uh, uh, 100 milliamps, and it says plus and minus 100 milliamps, so it must be able to do, that's got a diode in it. Why don't they say plus and minus? It has a diode in it, so I guess in the reverse direction, the diode can take 100 milliamps as well. Um, let's see here. It's a 20 volt part, 100 milliamps. Um, yeah, but the thing that makes it so amazing is its size. <laughs> its size, it's so tiny. Um, so I have it on an adapter board here. Let me show you some, some close up photographs. Um, first, let me show you these little test boards, and I'll, I'll, I'll take an SO23. Everybody knows the size of an SO23. All right, so here's this little guy soldered, <laughs> soldered sort of into that board, and you can see, uh, compared to an SO23, it is super, super, super tiny. So uh, what is this package? All right, so Rome has a real nice uh, data sheet, uh, a PDF of all the transistor sizes available. And um, it, you can see the size of an SO, uh, SOT23 or an SST3. It is the super tiny one, a VMT3, otherwise known as an SC. 105 AA. <laughs> Never heard of such a thing, but it is super tiny. It's the second smallest one they have on this on this sheet here. So yeah, it's 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 a tiny. So let's uh, let's hook this thing up and see if we can make it go. Oh, I know. Let's go test it first. Okay, let's see if I can put this test board in here somehow. One, two. I think that works. One, two, three. Let's see if that works. Yeah, and there we go. Oops, glares. Um, 0.7 volt VF, uh, 0.44 ohms. Yeah, it's not uh, not great in the ohm category. Um, let's see that data sheet again in ohms. It's uh, three and a half ohms on resistance, so not to, not great as some FETs are. All right, I have it set up on the breadboard here with an LED. Um, so let's, uh, the gate is grounded. Let's move the gate to five volts and there we go. Um, we're getting about 31, 31 milliamps with this setup. I have a 91, 91 ohm resistor here. So this is at five volts. If I double it, we'll go up to 62 milli milliamps. So let me go up here to uh, 10 volts. All right, so we're at 10 volts here, and we're still uh, we're still able to drive at 66 milliamps. So yeah, look at that. That's pretty cool. And with a little no seum uh, no seum transistor. Okay, well that was the chip of the day, an RUM 001L02. Um, yeah, never seen one before.